Hello again, welcome back to Asgard, and welcome back to Dark Souls. So, last episode, we came into the forest, and we did a little bit here. You know, we got our ring, so we have super roll. And anyways, we're going to be pushing on into the forest today. Go ahead and turn my sensitivity up there. And heading into this area. I do quite like this area a lot. Um, I know that you're there. You're not very good at hiding, to say the least. Nope. No, you don't. There we go. Just butcher him up. Okay, so we got a large soul of a nameless soldier. And let's push on into here. I actually quite love this area. Like, it's a bit of fun. Alright, you'll notice the white light vanishes. Not a boss fight. Okay, so... I remember this guy. Oh, come on! Alright. These big old Oh, what in the world? Huh. I don't remember that. <laughs> um, I couldn't I couldn't roll or do anything. I was like slowed, like bound or something. It was a spell he cast, I just don't remember what I used to do about it. Now time to do this right. Let's try this once more. Oh! These guys hit hard. No, you don't. Ah! I don't remember really having any issue with these guys, so... I want to say that spell makes it so that you get slowed when you get close to him or something like that, but, I mean, I don't honestly remember. Hey. Hey. No, you don't. You make too much noise when you come up out of the ground. Okay. And I remember, yeah, right here, those tentacle snakes. Get down. Get down. Partisan. Okay. And I remember those guys are like hidden around on the trees in like random places. So we kind of have to be on the lookout for them. I don't remember there being a whole lot of them, but I do remember there being a couple throughout the forest. I saw another one of those guys lying down there. And of course, it's actually kind of hard to tell where those guys are laying down at. Hey, hey, come with me. Come with me if you don't want to live. Nope. Nope. Gotta get you guys down so I can deal with Goliath over here. No, you don't. Ah. Ah. <laughs> I just, I love big weapons in Dark Souls. I, I like the little fast weapons too, but I love just big, just because they're just so satisfying when you smack something really hard with it. Oh, you're, I was wondering where that body came from. Alright, come on back. No, and no. Oh, come on! Come on! I was trying to get rid of your friends. Okay. No. I will shut that down. There we go. 
I don't want none of that. Yeah, see, they're not all that hard. There's, I think I just avoided him casting that, like, whoosh spell. <laughs> the one that, the one that makes me, like, really, really slow, but. Alright, Elite Knight armor set. It's too heavy for us at the moment, but. I have standards, you see. Okay, I do see you down here. I'm gonna go ahead and deal with you. No. I don't want none of that. That's what's up. Just kill him before the spell gets off and then it don't matter. It don't matter one bit. Okay, and there's another one here. Go ahead and take this guy out, I guess. No, you don't. I don't want none of that. I don't want you casting that junk. And you... Oh, that insta-kills them. I love those guys, though, because they're like... I'd say they got, like, creeping gecko bodies. They just hang off the trees there. Okay, now back here, I don't think there's anything. I think this is the only route that we can go at this point. Just through here. Yeah, I know. I know. Okay, now, it, it could very well make a liar out of me now. But this is the boss that even on the first playthrough never died on this guy. Never died on him. And watch, I'll, I'll end up getting slaughtered here, I'm sure. But uh, one thing I do want to look at is this shield. Um, it's 80 on magic. Do I have any better... I think it's just straight magic that I'm looking at. Or that I'm going to have to deal with, if I recall correctly. Okay, now I'm going to stick with the, uh, the crest shield. So... Yeah, I know. Try projectile and all that stuff. Uh, let's do this. Moonlight, butterfly. There he is. Alright. I'm waiting for you. You can projectile got down this guy, like, super easy. But, you can also melee him. He's really, he doesn't have a lot of health, if I recall correctly. Yeah, so you've been having your shield up, his attacks aren't terribly fast. But. Just, just come on down here. Oh, that got me, though. That, if I recall, does quite a bit of damage, but... Like, to stamina and stuff like that. Go. There we go. Get on in here. No. Oh, come on. I totally miss all, like, all my openings here. Alright. Yeah, see, he doesn't have very much health at all. Like, this boss is just a joke. And, I mean, you can block so much of that damage. It does, like... I just block that. You end up taking more damage off that attack when you try to avoid it. In my experience. And, you know, I mean, you can get through this boss fight with that, like, no flasks. As long as you're just patient. Oh. That was bad. Ah! I should have rolled forward. Not backwards. <laughs> okay, well, that was, uh, that was a first. That was, uh... That's not good. Okay. Oh, this is not a good beginning. I've already died twice. Like, I just, I'm terrible at this. 
Luckily, it's no real thing to get back to your, back to the boss fight, back to your souls. This guy, you can just run right past. They take like eight years to stand up, so not a whole lot of concern. All right. I mean, honestly, the first time, you just wait for him to land like one or two times and you win. Where you at? such a when it's going right it's such a boring fight actually and if you're if you're a range class like some kind of mage or an archer or something like that you wreck this guy because it takes him so long to do attacks that you can just stand down here and just pretty much you know pound away at him like if I did yeah. that attacks a little bit slow and doesn't have a whole lot of range but you know like the you have, like, the magic missile type projectiles. Um, I know when I played a mage class, this guy... He is a little bit resistant to magic, though. I will say that, if I recall correctly, but... He's not bad. Here he comes. Get you some of that. Get it. Get it. Get it. Okay. Okay. I will get back a little bit. There we go. <laughs> and then we just have to do it one more time. Like. There we go. There we go. And then the when he shoots out the little like balls, you roll towards it. I mean, you can block them, but they there's like four of them, and they do wreck your stamina like pretty bad. You end up taking quite a bit of damage out of it. Do like that. That. Because they do seek you, but they, they turn super slow. Come on in for a landing, buddy. You have to rest for a minute. quite enough that's quite enough come on those wings have to be getting tired there we go ah. Ah. <laughs> ah. and ah. there you go all right we got the soul of the moonlight butterfly Hands down, easiest boss in the game right there. And if I recall, does he give a bunch of souls? I think so. How many How many you give? 10,000. It's not bad. Not bad. And I mean, that's a boss. You can literally gun straight for him, like, right out the gate of the game and just beat him down. Like, because, I mean, as long as you can dodge his attacks, and especially if you get the Grass Crest Shield, but all those attacks, if you just sidestep them or roll when, you know, they come through, they're not that bad. I shouldn't have died that first time. It was my fault. I was just, I don't know. <laughs> I have no clue. Like, honestly, first time I picked up the game, got to this boss, I was like, man, this guy's easy. And then I come back through after many, many playthroughs and I die. So. Okay. Watchtower, basement key, and the divine ember, and a homeward bone. All right. All right. Now, do we want to go ahead and kill the other boss in the forest? I'm kind of thinking so. Um, actually, I'll tell you what. Let me go ahead and pop, uh, pop a Homeward Bone. I seem to remember there being more forests, but I think I'm thinking of uh, Dark Souls 2, maybe. They have the, like, the cat men and... I don't, I don't know. I, I think it's probably Dark Souls 2. I get them all mixed up now. Um, let's go ahead and do, let's go ahead and do resistance. I'm going to go ahead and put two points into resistance, because that covers all of our, our poison resist, our magic defense, flame defense, lightning defense, 
all that stuff. I am going to buff that up just a little bit. Alright, and that's about it at the moment. And the next thing I want to do is I definitely want to go for the Black Bow of Ferris. Because we're fairly close to it. And to do that, I am going to clear out a couple of these these guys here. And I guess that rogue is not going to come over here. There he is. No. Oh, well, he's dead. 5,000 souls. And do we get the Black Bow of Ferris? I think we have to pick it up off of his body. So I think it's gone. But I think one thing we can do, I know in some cases, if something like that happens when, you know, a special item falls off an edge or whatever, that's just the backside of that one building. If you come back over here once, uh, I don't want any of that. Leave me alone. Um, if you come back over, well, I guess actually I should probably kill him. Oh, no, I don't want both of them. I was running all sorts of in the wrong direction. All right, let's go ahead and use them, and we are going to take strength. Yes. Yes, we are. Alright, and you know what? We are going to go for the next boss. We're just going to run through, though, because I really don't want to deal with all these guys every time we make a run for it. Um, now, you can actually come up around the Hydra way, but it's a long run, and we don't want to take that super long run. And there's also that black bow. We're going to go back over and check it in a bit and see if it... Uh, I think it should, if it does spawn, if he like suicides or you die after killing him or something like that. If it does spawn, it should spawn around the place where he would normally spawn, so. Anyways, we're going to run up through here. This is mushroom territory, and we're headed towards, I think, that off in the distance. Looks good to me. So, we're going to give this a shot. This is my favorite boss in Dark Souls history, and probably in all history of, like, anything. Uh, it's the boss I actually, I hate killing it. I hate it. I want to befriend it. Alright, is there not any items? I was thinking there was an item around here, but nope. Okay, let's do this. Let us open these great gates. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. I love this, all this area here. All these, like, fallen, fallen blades and stuff. <laughs> I love this fight. I love this boss. Oh, good. That's a bad way to start out, actually. Best thing to do is just stay right up under its belly here. Oh my gosh, my dodging time is all sorts of off these days. Oh, stop it! Oh my gosh! No! No! Ah! Stop it! I hate when he does this. Like, hey, I'm gonna... 
I'm gonna pace around you. Okay, if I can just get him... Oh my god! Come on! No! No! You're gonna die this time. I got you. I got you in my sights. No! Oh my gosh. I hate dying on this fight because it's actually a very easy fight. Because any boss like that that's really big, if you can get right up under their feet and just kind of like stay there, like you can just hack away at their feet and you kind of have to like, you have to move a bit on that fight because you have to kind of like transition yourself, move around, stay underneath him. But if you can do it, he's super easy. Okay, I did lose my souls. This is the third attempt. Um... I didn't, I didn't go straight over for them and lost them. But generally, I find that I like just losing my souls when I go into a boss. You know, if I'm going to die, I might as well go ahead and lose them. And that's because they're always in the back of my mind like, oh, I need to get over there my souls and I'll find a moment when I need to be focused on the fight and not on the souls. Ah. Man, he is showing me what's up today. Okay, I've got him down a little bit. I'm starting to get a little bit more comfortable touching him. No. 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 And no. Ah, come on. There we go. Blocked all that damage. Okay, we're back up underneath him, doing work and taking damages. I really like where he was at, like right up against that wall. Oh, come on. No. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on! Stop doing that! Alright. Man. I don't like where my health's at right now, particularly. But... <laughs> Stop it. And... Stop it. I keep doing that, but just stop actually hitting me. Because nobody likes that. Oh my gosh. There we go. Okay. 
Gotta keep my shield up. Oh my gosh. Come on. Okay. Crazy that I can even like block that. That would like slice clear through the shield. You know it would. No, you don't. You're dead. <laughs> okay, we got the Art of Abyss walking achievement, and we got the Covenant of Artorias, the Soul of Sif, Humanity, Homer Bone, beautiful stuff. Okay, and 40,000 souls. Awesome boss to kill, like, this early into the game. Man, like, I took, that was so much dodging, like, there at the end, because I thought for sure I was dead. And we got the Hornet Ring. The Hornet Ring is a... Spearman's ring, isn't it? I think it is. Uh, no, boost critical attacks. Okay. And then the Covenant Artorius is the one that lets us abyss walk, basically. Yeah, traverse the abyss. Okay. I'm not too worried about critical attacks. That's not my build. If I was a faster attack, but I'm more interested in, like, just solid, straight damage. More than, like, chance hits. But yeah, it was, like, right at the gate. Like... I was out of Estus. He still had like, I don't know, I don't know, like 75% health or something like that. And I had no, like no Estus. Did work on him on the back half of that fight. Third attempt. So second attempt was terrible. I was, I think I was worried about my souls in the back of my mind and just got bodied. Um, I'm going to go ahead and Homeward Bone. I'm not even going to try to make that run with uh, my barely one health. Okay, now 40,000 souls. I can't think of anything at the moment that I want to buy with those. Nothing comes to mind, so I'm just gonna spend them. We're gonna we're gonna spend them. Let's take a point in strength. Let's take a point in um, endurance. Maybe two points into endurance, and then we're gonna take. Uh, um, ba -ba -bum 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 -bum. Um, we're gonna go ahead and take another point in resistance. I think that's what we're gonna do. So there we go, and we have 1,054 souls to our name. Okay, so I mean, we've pretty much cleared out this forest now. Um, I'm going to go over here and check on that bow. I just want to just run right over there real quick, see if the bow is up. Like, spawned on the ground or something like that. Um, since he managed to roll himself right off the right off the ledge. Yes, he did. He left it. So we got Twin Humanities, the Black Bow of Ferris, and Ferris's Hat. Awesome. That is a pretty good bow, I have to say. Pretty decent bow. So, I mean, we've pretty much cleared out the forest now. I mean, that was pretty much it. It was the Moonlight Butterfly and um, the Great Wolf Sire, which I love that boss. you got to admit, um, I mean, if you even remotely like dogs and wolves and stuff like that, you got to admit, that's like the prettiest boss ever. Absolutely love that boss. Um, and honestly, past this, you know, past that boss, like in all of like Dark Souls history, I've never found another boss that like has my heart spot like that one does. I love that boss so much. My, that's a rare ember you have there. I've seen one of those before. It's the ember of a divine blacksmith. Might you consider leaving that with me? I could produce divine weapons with a flame such as that. Yash. Yes, you can have it. Uh, well, thanks for that. You've made a fine decision. You soon shall see. All right, I will definitely, I will definitely make a divine weapon later when we go back to the skeleton place, into the catacombs area. Okay, I tell you what, we're gonna head over in this direction real quick. No, actually, I want to go over this way. I'm trying to think, I think we might go because there's so many different directions that we could go. We go into the catacombs. We could go. Uh, the sewers which I think is the, is the direction we're gonna go is towards the sewers 
go ahead and do the Capra Demon and um, the Gaping Dragon, I think is what it's called. Okay, nobody's following me. Cool. That's good. No! Get you some of that. I know there's a guy on the left over there, but I'm not too worried about him. Wow, they actually hit me with an arrow. Is the dragon still up there? I thought the dragon left by now. Maybe we actually have to kill the dragon, but that's fine. I might go find and get some arrows and kill that dragon real quick. There we go. And going back to this area, it's like it's so easy to kill all these guys off. Okay. Adios. Because, I mean, I could get him from here, but I just don't think I have... I don't think I have much in the way of arrows at the moment. I have 16 feather arrows. Question is, do I have the decks to use the black bow of Ferris? Not at all. Nor do I have the decks for the longbow. Okay. Well, guess what? Scratch that. Let's go ahead and activate this bonfire. This is like one of the first bonfires we ever used. And let's head up here. If I recall, the sewers are on that bridge, right? I think. I think they are. Painful run to try to make. I shouldn't be going this way. Or I need to get rid of the dragon, but I can't recall... I can't recall how I get rid of him. Um, oh, wrong... Uh, there we go. I'll go ahead and pop one of these. I mean, I think, I think the only way is maybe to shoot the tail. But there's like a room back there and everything, but... Anyways, we're going to use the basement key here. And we'll head on down into this place. I think this is where the Capra Demon is. It's been, it's been forever. Look at these ladders. These just massive, massive ladders. Alright. This keeps giving me like flashbacks of Dark Souls 3 now. Like... Okay, we're gonna go up this way. Oh, this room. I know where this is out. This is like a shortcut, basically. From the bonfire... You'll know exactly where I'm at once, uh... Once I can actually step into this room here. No. No. Like, right over there is the bonfire. So, that's where we're at right now. Okay. I hate these doors where you gotta, like, try to, like, platform around them. Alright, let's push on in this direction. And we're gonna go down through here. Oh yeah, this is this is where the Capra Demon's at. Because we got some dogs, and then I remember we got those rogues that like burst out of the houses, I think. Come on. One shot, you're dead. Like sporadic running dogs here. No. Ah, I hate fighting on steps. 96 souls. Like, that tells you I should have... I could have come here a long, long time ago. Somebody. Please, let me out of here. Somebody. Anybody. Help me. Unlock the door. Damn. I'm finished. How did this ever happen? Because... You made mistakes. Residence key. Brilliant. You opened the door for me. Thank you. I'm saved. I thought I might never escape. I am Griggs of Vinheim, a sorcerer of the school. I am much obliged for your assistance. Thanks to you, I may now resume my travels. And he sells spells. He's like one of the first vendors that sells spells. There's actually a better one later on. But. Oh, hello. I'm fine. I will rest a while, then return to Firelink Shrine. 
I have my sorcery. And I will be more cautious next time. Besides, I have an important task at hand. Okay. Yeah, I think the the black orb, I think we have to use that in Anerlondo, if I recall correctly. Alright, we got the sorcerer set and the sorcerer's catalyst. Um, and then if we push on. Aha. <laughs> so many undead. I don't even remember this place being here. Come on. Try to bring you guys back little by little. There. I'll deal with you. Okay. Oh, whoops. Wrong button. There you go. There you go. Twin Humanities. Okay. I just don't remember this spot. But I think I just forgot about it. Or something. Okay. So let's push on in this direction. And I think we're going to get jumped a little bit here. Jumping, jumping. Sit. Yeah. There we go. We got in here uh, the mail breaker now you're dead I love cheating those guys like this sword has enough range you can get guys through the through the walls I think you can hit them with pretty much like any kind of weapon though right there um, if I recall correctly but okay so pushing on down I want to say we get jumped right here, don't we? Like another little, like, ambush. Yeah. Yeah. Just one clave, kill three. I love it. Alright, we still got four Estus left. I don't recall there being a bonfire down here, though. Oh! Thought I heard a little pause. Okay, what do we got? Large soul of a lost undead. There's the boss fight. Good. Good, 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 good. Uh, black leather set, thief mask, target shield. Okay. Oh, rats. Now, technically, if we want to follow the story, the next place we should be going is Anorlando. But this area right here, this is the way into Blighttown proper. Um, like the correct entrance into Blighttown. Isn't there a locked door down here that prevents us from proceeding or not? Maybe not. There's a guy on the left, I remember. There you go. And there you go. These guys are pretty easy, actually. Bandit's knife. I don't remember there being a bonfire down here, though. Like, I seem to remember just going straight in for the Capra Demon, right? I think. It's locked. Okay. That, I think we get the key from the Capra Demon. And I guess, I guess we'll go on up this tower first. And then we'll go take on the Capra Demon. Which the Capra Demon, not a hard fight, but kind of frustrating because it's such tight corridors. It's, I think, the biggest issue with it. It's very, very tight corridors. Which makes dodging sometimes a pain. Okay, yeah, that's a dead end. And over here... Oh, yeah, this connects into the sewers. Hey.
Okay, we can purchase the item. And she sells a bunch of just moss and junk. I don't need any of that right now. Alright, but if we push on through here, there's a shortcut door right near the entrance of Undead Bird. And Firelink Shrine and all of that. There's that rat. Basically, right before we go into, uh, right before we go into Firelink. Or, right before we go into, uh, Undead Bone. Alright, so I guess we're gonna head down. We're gonna go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Capra Demon. This might be an easy fight. Might one-shot it. Um, or might have, might die, I don't know. <laughs> I shouldn't die. It's not a terribly hard fight, but... Um, it can be a little bit tough if you're, you know, just starting out and you're doing this. Because, like I said, it's such tight corridors, but... I mean, the boss doesn't have a whole lot of health. It's just all the ads. I thought there was another dog somewhere. <laughs> made me jump a little bit right there. Okay, the dog's dead though, so I don't have to worry about him anymore. I usually try to take out those dogs as soon as I walk in here. Like if I'm doing this at the correct level. But right now, he doesn't even do like hardly any damage. Alright, key to the depths. And we got a Humanity and a Homeward Bone, and what, 5,000 souls? Or something like that? 10,000? 6,000? I was close. I was fairly close. Okay, and I don't think there's anything else in here. I think it's just uh, yeah, a bunch of dead ends. Okay, so we'll push on just a little bit. I know it's fairly close to wrapping up point, but we did kill three bosses today. Which is pretty, pretty cool. Made a bit of progress. Um, I think there's a bonfire fairly quickly once we step into this place. I think so. Alright. Oh, I remember this place. I remember this. Um, actually, I think this was one of the first places. We were on New Game Plus, I think. And me and my uh, best friend actually met up here. Because we were showing off like weapons and trading weapons on New Game Plus. And stuff like that. Ah! Or not trading weapons. Showing off weapons, I guess. Or can you try? I can't remember. I could have swore we were trading weapons, but at the same time, I'm like, can you trade weapons on here? I can't remember, but. Maybe it was just showing off with. I don't know. I cannot remember. I love the range on this sword. Just kind of like step back and just be like, bah! Get you some. And try to light me on fire there. It's not gonna work. Man, I was trying to get that like timing perfect. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty. If you look down there, there is the butcher. The butcher man. And I can't remember, doesn't he drop a, a sack hat? Ah, <laughs> come on. Can you get up here? Do you think you can make it up here? I don't think you can. I think you have to take a ladder. But you're too big for ladders. Go. Oh no, there's a staircase. There is in fact a staircase. Oh, I hate these dogs on the stairs. How is this not hitting you? Come on, butcher. Ooh. Come on. Ah.
No. No. Does it give me the sack hat? No, he does not. Is the sack hat on this one? I cannot remember. Alright. I think that's a mimic chest. I think usually when they have the chains hanging off the side, that's how you know they're a mimic chest. Right? I think. Now hey, you wait till I start to wind up a swing and then you're like, hey, get you some of this. There you go. Okay, this part you can actually fall down here and it's supposed to be bad or whatever. There's like two dogs and a guy, but eh. we don't even mind it. Okay, is this a mimic? Oh, maybe it's not. There's there's some vis visual thing, maybe about the chain or something like that. Large ember. Okay. Hidden door right there. And... No, there's not a hidden door right there. Okay. So I guess we'll just fall down here. <laughs> oh, I love it. This area is kind of fun, actually. Kind of fun. Okay, I would like to... Jump down on you. And you're dead! What do you know? Insta-kill the mini-boss. Humanity... And then these guys. I thought they tried, they came after you, but maybe not. You're dead. Nah. Sewer chamber key. I was thinking I could get that one from over here, but maybe not. Okay. I don't. I want to say there's nothing else through here. It's all the nameless soldier. I think there's a bonfire coming up, though. I think. <laughs> now these guys are hyped. These are the cursed guys. If you recall, we ran into those already once. Before. Aha! Double kill! Okay, I guess we're going to go around this direction, I think. I love these just big, nasty rats. Like, they're so grody. That's the guys, right there. These guys have so much HP, it takes a minute to get through all of it. And then... Yeah, this is if you ride along the side, you can come down here, I think. But I want... There's a bonfire somewhere. I'm gonna go back down here real quick. Uh, up here, I think there's a bunch of basilisks, actually. There's one down. So the nameless soldier. I think we're going to go... Nope, don't want that. Wait till he comes through here. Nope. 
not stand these guys because no matter like how powerful you are, they they can still be dangerous because you get that curse built up and you insta die. Like that's it, you know. Okay, steadily making our way through this. There we go. The beauty of pyromancy right there. There we go. And this is Large Soul of Nameless Soldier. I could have swore there was a bonfire around here somewhere, but Oh man. Yeah, you're gonna come booking it around the corner, aren't you? Oh man. Nope. And nope. Okay, now up here, we can actually come around the sides here. Ah! Just <laughs> come down on his head. Oh, I'm out of Estus. I didn't even notice. Whoops. Okay, now right here, got to dodge roll over that. Get our humanity. I don't think there's going to be anything down there because I think we've killed it because I think it's just right through here where you fall down at. Yeah. Then we got the Ring of the Evil Eye. Which, that is... Absorbs HP from fallen enemies. Alright, but we're going to push on back through um, to that, where the path split a bit ago. And there was those guys with all the HP back into this area. Yeah, and you can see there's mobs on the ceiling too. we got to watch out for those. They like to drop down on you. This is the bonfire, isn't it? I think... Right up here, maybe? Takes you across. That's where we fought the big rat. Then if we go up here... Oh! Ah. They gotta make me jump for! Your sewer chamber key. Yeah, here's the bonfire. Okay. We still got a little bit more of the sewer to explore, but we're definitely making a bit of progress at the moment. And we've got the souls to level. I'm going to go ahead and take another point in endurance, I think. Um, or strength. I will take endurance. I want that extra stamina. All right. And I know it's about wrapping up point, so I do believe that we are going to end out this episode here. Um, next episode, we'll continue exploring the sewers and probably take on the next boss and stuff down here. So, fun stuff. And then we'll go into Blight Town, and then, um, depending, we might take on... Remember that boss that we fought with the big arms, the big uh, seizing, uh, seizing mass or whatever? We're, we might take that on again now that we've gotten a little bit stronger. Go ahead and knock him out, but... Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, as always, be sure and hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe if you're not already to stay up to date with when new videos come out. Um, I do figure we're going to do a bit of exploring, a little bit of the side stuff, and just... I mean, like Artorias, you have to kill him later. You don't necessarily have to kill him now, but... Or not Artorias, but uh, the Great Sire Wolf. Um, but a lot of those fights, I like to just take them out as we go and, and whatnot, because they're very doable. I mean, pretty much any fight out right out the gate is doable in this game, because... You just get good enough at dodging, which, as you can tell, I'm not the best at anymore. But uh, 
anyways, we'll continue on next episode. I hope to see you guys then. So until then, as always, do take care, stay safe, and I'll see you guys then.